Hey YouTube, um, progress is a little slow with the uh, diet and I haven't prioritized capturing my self training. Um, been working through a couple of injuries so my training isn't really a, it's following a, a progression, a periodization program but it's not really interesting right now so I figured I would just do kind of a typical journal entry and uh, kind of show the cool things that I'm up to in uh, Denmark and Sweden. Uh, so in Denmark they had the uh, I think it was the Danish premiere for Generation Iron 2 and I had to create a trailer for the Life of Iron series that I did for Gasp and it played on the big screen. You know, things in life aren't, aren't given to you and that's one thing that I was always taught. Things aren't given to you, they're earned. That's what motivated me throughout my career, preparing for, you know, the worst case scenario. You get this feeling like you've been hit by a truck at the end of the day, but it's a really satisfying feeling. Those guys are dumping the cloth a few years back, right? Not, not this instant gratification social media shit. You know, they showed up. If I can give any anybody a message in life is, you know, don't put your hand out waiting for somebody to give you something. Go out there and fucking earn it yourself, man. Your physical fitness, at least once in your career, will determine whether you live or die. Oh, oh, yeah! Nobody's watching. Nobody's there to pat you on the back, you know, kiss your ass. You showed up time after time. And that's key for any athlete is uh, if you want to be successful, you're gonna you're gonna fail. Uh, so that's the only way you get better. Keep pushing. Um, do what you love to do. Go 150 miles an hour with what you're doing. And as long as you get better, a little bit better every single day, that's all that matters. Just go out there and, and, and push. Push yourself, push yourself to the limits that you didn't know you had. I never stayed in one place. I always kept moving forward. And that's one thing you gotta do. You gotta put a foot in front every single day to move closer to that goal. Get knocked down, get the fuck up. Keep going. For me, uh, the feeling that I had of something that I produced on the big screen was uh, a very good feeling. And I met a really cool um, gym owner, entrepreneur, uh, all around really awesome guy, Stellan, at Loaded Gym. And uh, he took me around, uh, showed me the sites, was incredibly hospitable. I can't say enough about how he improved my experience of being in Denmark. So when you have somebody, uh, very outgoing like that. That's a uh, that's uh, that lives there. Uh, you can really, uh, without doing research and everything yourself, you can really appreciate a lot and find out a lot about a country. So so yeah, that was my adventure. So I, I went to Denmark for four days, shot with a couple of athletes over there at Loaded Gym, which is a world famous gym in Copenhagen. Saw a bunch of sights. Uh, saw the where they written the Little Mermaid. Uh, saw the Queen's Palace. Saw. Uh, the avenue with all the shops and all the architecture and and it was glorious weather, really beautiful weather while I was there. They got a bunch of b-roll so I could put into this reseller video I'm doing for the company and then we shot over to Stockholm, um, the home base for SF Group and uh, worked from the new office a little bit, uh, had the company conference, uh, drank a little bit too much, fell down, bit my tongue. Um, but then um, I'm shooting with a bunch of new athletes at gym at Stockholm. And uh, yeah, let me just show you in a highlight reel the sites, the architecture, the athletes. And uh, this is just a, just a reminder so I can reflect in the future what, uh, what I did in uh, May, June of 2017. So...
Denmark, in, in Copenhagen, I figured out that everything on the weekend closes at 6 p.m. So I didn't make it to the gym, but I really wanted a workout, so I used uh, kind of a principle from Jailhouse Strong, Josh Bryant's book, and uh, just used body weights. And uh, I did what uh, he likes to call uh, mechanical advantage drop set. So I started with elevated push-ups, went to standard push-ups, and then I went to dips. So as, uh, as kind of each movement gets a little bit easier, so in, in essence, it's like a drop set. So this is just a little bit. I don't look that good, but they, you know, this is my channel, and you know, it's a fitness channel, and this is what I did when I uh, needed to go to the gym, but nothing was open. So here it is.